ஸ்ரீ குருபியோ நமஹா ஹரி ஓம் ஜெய் ஸ்ரீராம் வெல்கம் டு அவர் நெக்ஸ்ட் எபிசோட் இன் ஆர் கம்ப்ளீட் ரீடிங் ஆஃப் ஸ்ரீமத் வால்மீகி ராமாயணா இந்த ப்ரீவியஸ் எபிசோட் வி சா ஹவு சுவாமி ஹனுமா ஹேஸ் என்டர்ட் லங்கா அண்ட் ஹீ சா த சிட்டி தேர் அண்ட் ஹீ சேஸ் டு ஹிம் செல்ஃப் திஸ் இஸ் அ சிட்டி விச் வாஸ் பில்ட் பை விஸ்வகர்மா ஃபார் த சேக் ஆஃப் குவேரா அண்ட் நவ் ராவணா இஸ் ஆக்சுவலி ரூலிங் திஸ் பர்டிகுலர் சிட்டி பாலிதாம் ராட்சசேந்திரேனா நிர்மிதாம் விஸ்வகர்மனா திஸ் இஸ் வாட் ஹி சேஸ் ஸோ ஐ ஜஸ்ட் ட்ரை டு கிவ் யூ அ ஸ்மால் பேக்ரவுண்ட் ஆஃப் திஸ் ஸ்டோரி ஸோ வாட் ஹேப்பன்ஸ் இஸ் திஸ் சிட்டி ஆஃப் லங்கா வாஸ் ஆக்சுவலி பீங் ரூல் பை குபேரா when ravana completes his tapasya and he gets all the boons from all the devatas and when he returns to kubera's place which is lanka kubera actually invites him to sit along with him on the throne and rule the kingdom along with him but then ravana says either it's you or me who is going to be the ruler of lanka taken aback by his own brother's stubbornness kubera then goes back to vishravasu who is his father and he says oh father Ravana is my brother from another mother he is your son as well right so please let me know how to deal with him he is now coming to me and he is saying that i should relinquish the kingdom for the sake of him or he is inviting me for a fight then vishravasu brahma he says o oh, kubera leave it to ravana so that ravana would rule it you can go to alakapuri and live there so that's how kubera gives up lanka he also gives up his pushpaka vimana some say there is a fight also that happens but he finally leaves to alakapuri and becomes one of the greatest shiva bhaktas ever that is kubera now that's how ravana took over lanka and swami hanuma who saw this f- from the mountain top he thinks to himself oh this is how ravana has got it now ravana from there on he moves to lanka and there he continues to rule that city and now that ravana has kidnapped sita ma and brought her here he has redoubled the entire city's defenses and all that's all we saw in um, we saw yesterday in the in the previous episode how the defense of the city were there and all going further swami hanuman actually sees that people who are carrying darbhas who are carrying agni kundas they were also moving around in the same place that's because these people who were actually agnihotris they would use mantras to kill the enemies so because of that they were carrying uh, they were carrying darbhas and all and they were moving so ravana at the back of his mind he knew that there would be an attack on lanka someone would come in search of sita ma and he was increasingly investing in his defenses now the city of lanka is already very well guarded by the sea itself right because it's it's an island it's covered by sea in all directions so anyone who has to come cannot come and directly attack having had all these advantages that's how the city is swami hanuma he became as small as a cat he has now entered into the city and now he is going to talk to lankini that's where we stopped this right i tried to give a small background of few things a particularly of this kubera story because we somehow did not talk about it yesterday so now swami hanuman goes into the lanka city and here he sees a very interesting thing here as he is walking into the city he hears a voice that was asking him to do something now what was the voice here is what lanka adhidevata or lankini is talking to swami hanuman so she is saying kastvam kena cha karyena ih prapto vanalaya kadhaya sveha yat tattvam yavat prana dharanti te kastvam so kastvam here is no kaha tvam tvam is like you without respect saying the word you means in hindi we say aap right and then there is something called tum so tum is without respect aap is with respect right similarly you know you in english we have the same word for both we say you with respect and without respect as well right so here kastvam tvam in sanskrit means you so kastvam who are you she is not addressing him with respect that's the first thing and see hanuman was a mahamantri hanuman was a mantri under sugriva and even vali used to respect him and now this particular rakshasi is addressing him with a eka vachana kastvam kena cha karyena iha prapto vanalaya so with the moment see someone who is used to being respected a lot hanuman is used to being respected a lot all of a sudden if such a person listens you know 
like a word like tum you without respect that all of that in the anger shoots in right but swami hanuman being the person the epitome of buddhi he took it in his stride he did not say anything vanalaya you are a monkey who needs to roam in the mountains and in the forest only why did you come here so this is the another point that that lankini is saying and then she is saying if you want to be alive if you are not going to tell me the truth about this whole thing you are not going to go out alive now do you really need such harsh language because somebody is trying to enter the town and now for just for that you need not shout on that particular person right now hanuman he controls himself and he says katvam virupanayana puradware vatishthasi himardham chapimam rudva nirbhatsayade daruna o virupanayana so she addressed him as tum so he is also giving it back very nicely and he is saying katvam virupanayana puradware vatishthasi who are you who is having such bad eyes and why are you standing in front of this particular town i just wanted to get inside why are you using such harsh words for me and why are you trying to intimidate me that is what swami hanuman is saying then the lady lankini she is replying aham rakshasa rajasya ravanasya mahatmanah agnya pratiksha durdarsha rakshami nagareem imam i am the adhidevata of this lanka city i am in charge of protecting this particular city this is the job that ravana has given me and i am here to do that aham hi nagari lanka swayam eva plavangama sarvata parirakshami hetatte kaitam maya so she is telling that she is the adhidevata for lanka and then he did a namaskara and he said drakshami nagarai lankam satta prakara toranam ityartha hi samprapta param kautuhalam hi me i am here to roam around the city i just want to see the city and leave the moment hanuman said this she did not even think she immediately took out her hand and she hit him tatah krutva mahanadam savai lanka bhayapaham talena vanara shreshtham taadayamasa vegina so the moment she hit him taadayamasa vegina she hit him very quickly hanuman immediately got angry and tatah samvartayamasa vamahastasya songuli mushtina bhijaganainam hanuman krodha murchita hanuman immediately realized that things are going out of his hand and he needs to do something so that he can stop the advances of this rakshasi so hanuman quickly realizes that he has he needs to stop lankini he immediately closes his left fist and he hits her uh, with his left fist so that you know if he hits her with his right fist she might die hence he uses his left fist and he immediately hits her the moment she receives this particular shot lankini falls down she realizes who hanuma is she stands up and says o mahanubhava o o hanuman i am so happy that you have come finally because of all these rakshasas living in my place i once went to brahma deva and asked him for some respite and brahma deva told me that when a vanara comes and when he hits me when i lose a, a fight to vanara that's the day that uh, these rakshasas and the rule of these rakshasas or the rakshasa pravritti here all of that would end i would really be free from this particular menace of rakshasas saying this alankini uh, lets him inside she says pravishya sapopa hatam hariswara shubham purim rakshasa mukhya palitam yadruchchayatvam janakatmajam sadim vimarga sarvatra gato yadha sukham so she says ok hariswara enter go and search for sita ma here yadruchchayatvam janakatmajam sadim go and search for sita ma that's what uh, lankini says and she lets swami hanuman into lanka and now what does swami hanuman do once he enters lanka that we will be seeing in our next episode sarve bhavantu sukinah sarve santu niramaya sarve bhadrani pasyantu makashchid dukkha bhag bhavet sarvam tvi sadhana swami charanarvindar parmastu swasti jai shri ram